Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your beige and girl Joanna Jadelia and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup like a like a natural kind of look. So let's just get right into it. So first here I have my comb and brush for my eyes. So that's what I start doing. I just brush them up. Guys, do not mind the look. As you know, I did. I do my makeup first, and then my hair. Sometimes it depends. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up. As you can see, I barely have any, but don't worry. Don't worry. We're trying to look good. We're trying to look good. Okay. So that's what I do first, and then I have my eyebrow pencil that I've had it so long that there's nothing on it so it's just a medium brown pencil I use brown because I find black just doesn't look natural like it looks too dark for me so I'll be using brown and it needs to be sharpened but we're just gonna go in so really I just mark out the like shape of the eye of my eyebrow I don't really do too much because again I want it to be natural So, just gonna do that. And you're going to go up, and yeah, you don't really want to drag it across. I'm only dragging it across to get the line up top, but go in the shape of your hairs that are already on your face. So, this is kind of like the general. I'm mean, bear in mind, I have nowhere to go, so I'm not really trying to do much at all. Being true, I don't do anything, <laughs> but this is for you guys. Okay, oh, let me show y'all. This is my makeup kit. I really don't do much with makeup, okay? So anyway, this is my makeup kit. I'm gonna go in and look for my concealer. Today, I'm gonna be using my LA Girl P Focus and like whatnot. So just, okay, it was there. Yeah. yeah. My LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, I don't know. Oh, in the shade Toffee. What you want your concealer to be is like, one shade lighter than your actual skin color or if you really want it to highlight you know to really show you can get it a little lighter like probably two shades lighter than your actual skin color skin tone so i'm just gonna you know, squeeze some liquid up and then we're just gonna go with not we're not gonna go on our eyebrow size we're gonna go around it to you know outline it we're gonna outline it i am so skeptical so I do like a rough outline because I don't want too much product. I don't want to go too close and then the product goes into my eyebrow. So I do like a rough outline. I need to stop trying to move my eyebrows. So I'm be quiet. So, don't mind. So it's gonna... This is so weird for me. Because I'm not like using my. I hope you all get the gist of what I'm doing because I don't either. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. That's like now I'm going to go in to blend that out, guys. I'm not a makeup guru, so please do not come for me when I show you all this. This, <laughs> this right here is. I don't know what the name is like I know it's a sponge but you know they're different sponges makeup sponge which most beauty give away but cheap and can be found in any you know beauty supply store I believe so what I do now is I go in with the thin thin part and I just blend it so, pause what we're gonna do is wet it first but not soak it we want it a little damp this helps to just blend that concealer up with without it all just you know going over yeah okay and when i blend i like to blend down and across like just with the same shape of my eyebrow blend down to you're pulling the concealer down okay and then on the top above you're gonna blend up so what you do you just take go close in and upwards guys don't look at my nails i have none 
I have none. Okay, as you can see, I got some concealer up in there, so it looks like my robe got thin and then got a little thick. Okay, that's looking like an eyebrow. Just looking like an eyebrow. Oh yeah. And I don't really want it to be so, you know, ouchy. It's not even look okay. But okay, so right now I'm feeling kind of happy with this eyebrow. And we're gonna do the same thing we did over here to over here. You get close as you can to where you put your concealer. And you're gonna pull it down while like you're blending it but you're pulling it down yeah guys i need to shave right there is some hair on my eyebrow but as i said i'm pretty lazy well not lazy i'm just very quarantine i ain't got nowhere to go now this can go faster if i use my brushes so i'm gonna see so this is one of my brush you don't know i love some rose gold i love some white and i love some gold so yeah um, this is, no, it's pretty soft, it's a good brush, it doesn't have any, you know, name like mouth or something, but, yeah, just, if you have a shape like this, some people use it for, you know, the pomade, pomade in the eyebrow, but I don't have that, I use, you know, so I really use this to tidy up my concealer. However, if you use this for your pomade, you can use, where is it, a brush something like this for, to, to blend out your concealer. So this feels a little dry, so I'm just gonna spray it. So we'll go back here. And don't worry if you know you're like, oh, that wasn't blended out well, like how you can still see it here. When you go in with your foundation, your foundation actually helps to clean that up. And I'll show y'all what I mean. Okay. So as I said, I'm not really looking for this to be like. Mm -hmm. So this is, I'm just gonna leave my arrow because we could be here forever. Trust me. Okay, next is foundation. The foundation I'm gonna be using, I don't even know how much I have in here, is the Kiss New York Pro Touch Liquid Foundation. So this is what we have. I do have a foundation brush, the same. I just love these brushes again. Um, your foundation brush is not like, let me show you all the difference because I got confused. I thought this was the foundation brush. You see how big and fluffy this is compared to this. This is more dense and the bottom is more like rounded in terms of like that. If you know what I'm saying. It's more like, yeah. But this is the application we're actually, the application process we're going to be using for our foundation. Now, you can use the same sponge. So I'm just going to wet this. As I said, you know, wetting helps with the application. Application. So that's where we're going. I don't use a lot of foundation in terms of, is this full coverage? Hmm. I don't know because I don't really love the full coverage in the foundation. As I said, I want it to be natural looking. So anyways, I use one. So you can see here. And even this is too much for me. So I'm just gonna dab it on the place where I want to put it. Like that. When I tell you all, oh, one pump goes a long way. Y'all will see. Now y'all probably say, oh, that's not your real color. You know, for my face, it looks light. Girl, I can't be bothered. <laughs> like, so and then when you blend it, don't I oxidize it? What I mean by oxidize, it just blends into your skin sometimes, so it gets darker in the So that's what I mean by oxidize. I like this chemistry, okay? Okay, another tell y'all, you see what the, the foundation helps with the concealer is that it makes it look a little neater now. Like you have a better transition, like here, it's still, you can still blend that out because we can see you baby we can see you so that's what i'm going to do now we're going to go into contour this is not necessary for me like when i'm doing a natural i don't do contour but just to give y'all a feel of everything and i don't have a cream contour i use a powder contour so today oh and this is it here in my palette not my palette like oh my actual palette this is the palette that i own and it's the Island Escape Makeup Palette by Malibu. Malibu Glitz. You see that here? Okay, there you go. Yes, this one will get to me. This is actually my first palette, right? It's my first 
Let's see how this is what it looks like. Yep. But just this is the contour that I'm gonna use it in the shade Fiji. It's the darkest shade. And contour you want it to be a shade darker than your skin tone. So what I'm doing, I'm just gonna dip into it. This is the brush. Now the contour brush is one that I use with the slant, simply because it helps with the application. So I'm gonna put this along my cheekbone. Along my cheekbone, yeah. So I'm gonna soup in my mouth and draw along that line that comes up there mm -hmm. like that now you don't have to drag it on now you see that you see that you see that? it brings out your cheek bones more that's what contour does so i'm going to do the same thing okay so that's what we do for contour people contour they know too but we'll do that in another video and you could contour on the knee here to give yourself like a really like you know, split jawbone, but I'm not really bothered with that. As I said, it's a natural look. So that's basically it. Okay, so that's basically it. And I'm just gonna blend because I don't want my contour to be too harsh. So I'm now gonna use this side of the brush, the higher end, and blend that out just so it doesn't look too, you know, like all up in your face. Last thing it's the face. So yeah, what I'm gonna do. Okay. Let's sit with my makeup natural look. Oh, then something I could do is my eyelashes. I'm sure y'all actually kind of got some. <laughs> Turn on the side. Okay, so this hair has in nothing, so I don't need to show you the name. It really has, it's empty. But I use it because the bristles are smaller than my actual mascara. Yes, I love pink and I love black. <laughs> so what I do is to comb them out first. And this just helps. I like to separate them that are, you know, some that are clump, so that when I do apply product, it goes on somewhat evenly and it doesn't all clump up. I hope that makes sense, guys. So when I'm doing like a natural look, I'm most of the time I'm doing like I only do the top. I really don't do the bottom one because I just feel like that's me setting myself up for failure in terms of that it's not gonna come up with. So, so I'm just gonna put that away. And then you go in with. Now I realize for me that whenever I do my like makeup around my eyes, my eyes start to walk. Be careful when you are applying makeup around your eye. It's a very sensitive organ of your body, so you gotta be careful. So what I'm doing here is actually just taking off some product. This is oh, I didn't even show you that. I'm sorry. Oh, and I just put it back in. Anyways, this here is the, for a second I thought it was my name. I was just about to be like, what girl, I need some products. This, you know what your name. So this is the Jardana. I think it's Jardana. The Jardana brand, and it is the best length extreme strengthening mascara in the color 303 black. I think it's 303. I had this for long, so the number kind of looks um, washed off. And this is the, yeah, this is her hair. And then I mean, I had this for long, like probably a year. I don't know if that's healthy, but anyways. So as I said, I'm taking off some of the product simply because I don't want too much on my eyelashes because again. This is like a natural kind of and I'm not one for like makeup, but like beat, beat, beat my face. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And we can do there. Sometimes what I do when I start to see them clumping, I go back in with my thin, but thinner because this is not that thin. Like the bristles are not that thin in order to help me separate. So sometimes I go back in with my the one before that I had the thin one and comb it out again so we're just gonna do the same thing over here add product i i love myself some highlighter i've had this from oh never mind the writing used to be here but it's all gone it was gold writing but it's at the back so this is my ruby kisses all over glow bronzing bronzing powder it's like a bronzer this is it so it looks so when i do i just go in on this side here this side here and you see that 
it's doing this next we're gonna go into next and blend that out so yeah guys this is basically it for me and i hope you enjoyed and i hope that you like and for those who have this next product you know the setting spray you can just spray and set it but i don't want to i don't need to but i'll just show you the setting spray or setting mist that i have is the rose water priming setting mist i just like it because it's so magical like look at that oh my gosh but anyways this is what i want i got this off of amazon i think yeah I already just put on some lip gloss or lip balm. This is my labejo. This is in Spanish, but anyways, just some lip balm like this. Oh, my lips are pretty pink. Barbie! <laughs> anyways, and if it is that like you're going to probably like have a long day, what I do this, this, this is my powder, like setting powder. What I do is then I go in with my finish matte, my matte finish powder foundation and go over, this really goes over my foundation. As did I say? Yeah, powder foundation, powder foundation, sorry. So this is what it looks. I barely use it. It comes with a, a sponge, also like applicator sponge and a mirror. Yeah, yeah. this one is. So you just go in with my big fluffy brush which helps to apply the powder evenly because the bristles are kind of like smaller I believe so and I just go over where I put my foundation oh I forgot you can also contour up here in terms of so that it goes back in because sometimes what may happen is that your foundation could look lighter than your scalp and what you want to do is put your contour around there and just blend it back into it looks you know uniform and stuff but that's not, you know, important for me now. Anyways, guys, that is it all for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned somehow. And um, if you want to see me do more makeup videos, you know, try different looks, then I definitely can do that. And yeah, so thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video.